Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna get straight into a vlog. My very first vlog. A lot of people ask how I get my hair this light. What I thought I would do is I would take you with me and then when it's done, I'll just tell you what color I had on and things like that and what shampoo I use. I just thought I'd try something a little different, but if you are new here, welcome. My name is Juliet. I'm a mom of two boys and I do three videos a week. And this week I just thought I would have a go at my first ever vlog, just so you can get to know me a little better, bit of a chat, and we'll just get straight into it. Excuse the vlog because I've probably just woke up now. Hi guys, so today I thought I would vlog because for the first time ever because I'm going to get my hair done today I have actually attempted them a few times but um I always either forget to film forget my camera forget the memory card or something I'm just really bad so today I'm going to give it a go so I thought I would sit here and just do my makeup with you first so Leo has just gone off to school. Lucas is with my mum downstairs. It's been like 10 weeks. So my hair is in desperate need of being done. But the reason I thought I would vlog is a lot of people ask me about my hair colour. Or say they really like it and how do I get it so blonde or how do I get it like this white blonde. And I thought that if I bring you with me then you can see me having it done. I can ask Becky, my hairdresser, oh, I can ask her exactly what she uses. So I'm just going to do a bit of makeup now. I have fake tan yesterday. Does anybody else, um, when they go to the hairdressers, feel like you have to put more makeup on than normal? Because otherwise, you know, those mirrors in there, I swear there's something wrong with those mirrors. They always make you look worse. I haven't washed my hair this morning. I'm just going to go with it like this. She must really hate me. Um, another thing is... I tried the tattoo brow, um, I think it's been three days now. It's actually held up quite well, better than I thought it was going to be because nothing really stays on my eye, eye, eyebrows. I've had them tattooed twice and um, they literally just don't seem to stay. So I don't know why. But this tint seems to have lasted three days, like it says. I mean, the only problem with it is, is I've still got to put my own pencil on, you know. Like, it's not enough to just wear on its own. But it is nice for me when I get up in the morning, because normally I don't have any eyebrows at all. I'm still on the hunt for a nice concealer. I have nearly used all my Rimmel hide the blemish which is what i've been using um i really want to try that under eye spongy one is it by uh maybelline i think is it maybelline that does it it's like a roller ball that you put underneath it's like a not a roller ball it's a sponge that you put under your eye i really want to try that has anyone else tried that how did they get on with that one I'm um, really unsure because I went into Boots and when I bought my tattoo brow and some more mascara, I did see that, but it was like £11 and I was like, oh, I don't really know if I want to spend £11 on a concealer. Oh, ignore the squeak, by the way. It's my stool. One of the screws has come loose. I need to get a proper chair in here, really. Any concealer recommendations? I'm open to recommendations so what else can i update you on we're on the second week of my body transformation so it's day two of week two uh i really struggled with my food yesterday i was an absolute <laughs> misery i really 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 wanted it wasn't that i wanted bad food i just wanted lots of food um and you know when the like the healthy snacks just aren't sufficing that was me yesterday um, but I'll update you all on that on the weekend, hopefully. What else can I tell you about? Mm, I don't want to put on my eyebrows today because I need something that will hold up against the hairdressing wash. I will go with my tattoo brow pomade, I think. See, it does come in useful even though I ordered the wrong one. 
I don't want to ramble too much. I've never done a vlog and this is why like vlogs are really long I find and I just don't know whether you're interested. But it's nice to chat to you all because I like I feel like I'm really getting to know you all and you know I've spoke to you all on the comments and I just think it's really nice now to sit down and have a bit of a chat. I've got my own nice little corner in YouTube and we're not a big family but it's a nice family and everybody is so sweet everybody's just so thought like all the comments are just so lovely from all of you if you've all seen my makeup everyday makeup tutorial i will link that below but that's why i'm not going through everything because i i'm using literally exactly exactly what's on my everyday makeup routine pretty sure i am i'm a creature of habit I was going to put on, I'm going to put on my older lashes today because I might get wet with the washing of the hair. So I'm going to put my older ones on. I was going to put a new set on but I'm not going to risk it. These eyelashes, right, have been through hell. I've been in the shower with them because I went in the shower and forgot that I had my eyelashes on. I didn't wash my hair but still I went in the shower with them, like the humidity and everything. I've slept in them. I've wore them for about two months. That's what I mean when I say, like, literally these eyelashes are just amazing. I think I'm just going to go with lip balm. Because I'm so, um, adventurous. Right. Done. I've got to go and figure out what to wear. Okay, so I've just got to the salon. I'm just going to pop in, give you a brief look. Bye, Roots. Yeah, just about on time. Quick. Hi, so I'm back now. This is the hair. My hair. Da, da, da. I always have it like a little curl in it when I come back. Let's see if I can hold it this way. Um, yeah. So you can see, I've had a couple of inches off the ends, just to neaten it up a bit. Just trying to get in the window so you can see. I love it when it's first done. It's just so light and so lovely. Yeah, so. Right, so I, ooh, it's gone dark. So I asked her what she used on it and she doesn't actually use a toner anymore um, because my hair is quite light anyway. Um, so she uses, bleach and 30 volt underneath because underneath is always a bit darker but then she uses bleach powder and a 20 vol on the top and then i have heat on it while it's um developing but yeah i what i tend to do as well is now i will leave it like this for a couple of days but then i will purple shampoo it and i use the fudge purple shampoo i think that's the best one that I've tried so far but it grabs really quickly in my hair so I only have to leave it on I literally put it on and then wash it straight off almost straight away but yeah so that is the finished article and that is my hair when I've just had it done thank you ever so much for watching if you do have any more questions please leave them in the comments below and i will get back to you i always do get back to you and if you are new here there is a subscribe button down here in red if you wanted to click that and stick around it would mean the world to me i do lots of hauls and fashion and beauty videos i actually have a few hauls coming up because we're coming up to a new month i really hope you want to stick around and see that and until next time guys take care